Ever heard of Rwanda? Yeah, the small East African country that's about to blow your mind. In today's video, we've got a major story that's shaping the future of Africa, one of the world's most exciting and fastest growing regions. Yep, we're talking about nuclear power in Africa and how Russia is jumping into the game big time with plans to build a nuclear science center and power plant in Rwanda. But hold up, before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you never miss any updates on what's happening around the world. All right, let's get into it. Africa's been on a serious growth wave lately. It's home to some of the fastest growing economies on the planet, and guess what? The continent's got huge plans for the future. The need for energy is exploding, but here's the problem. A lot of African countries still face major power shortages. We're talking rolling blackouts, power cuts, and unreliable electricity. You know how frustrating it is when your phone dies mid-scroll because the power went out, right? That's where nuclear energy comes in, and countries all over Africa are turning to this clean and powerful energy source to keep the lights on, literally. And now, Rwanda, a small but fast developing country in East Africa, is ready to jump on the nuclear bandwagon. So, what's Rwanda's big move? The country is teaming up with none other than Russia to make it happen. Yeah, you heard that right, Russia. Russia's state nuclear energy agency, Rosatom, is planning to send a whole squad of experts to Rwanda to talk shop about building a nuclear science center and a small nuclear power plant. And they're not messing around. This could be a game changer for Rwanda's future. Now you may ask, what's the big deal? Okay, let's break it down. Nuclear energy is like the ultimate cheat code for generating a ton of electricity without pumping harmful carbon emissions into the atmosphere. For countries like Rwanda that are trying to power up their industries, homes, and tech, nuclear offers a super reliable source of energy that doesn't depend on fossil fuels. Plus, it's a huge win in the fight against climate change. Remember how we keep hearing about international commitments to reduce carbon emissions? Nuclear energy is a big part of that plan. Instead of relying on old-school fuels like coal and gas, nuclear energy produces power through atomic reactions. No greenhouse gases, no pollution, just clean, massive amounts of energy. Sounds pretty cool, right? And Rwanda isn't new to the idea of nuclear power. Back in 2018, Rwanda and Russia shook hands on a deal to cooperate on peaceful uses of nuclear energy. The plan? Help Rwanda build the infrastructure needed to tap into nuclear energy across different sectors. Think healthcare, agriculture, and even tech. But here's the thing. Rwanda isn't the only country on the continent that's feeling the nuclear energy vibe. Over the past few years, a bunch of African nations have been dropping hints that they're ready to go nuclear too. The reasons are pretty straightforward, rapid industrialization, growing populations, major energy shortages, and that pesky issue of climate change. Think about it, Africa is looking to scale up big time, but they can't do that without enough power to fuel the growth. And with the world moving away from dirty fuels, nuclear energy seems like the perfect solution to Africa's energy problem. Here's where it gets even more interesting. Russia is positioning itself as Africa's go-to partner in all things nuclear. Why Russia though? Well, it's simple. Russia has a ton of expertise in nuclear energy. They're basically the OGs when it comes to building nuclear power plants, supplying nuclear fuel, and providing enrichment services. In fact, one in five nuclear power plants worldwide is either in Russia or built by Russian engineers. That's pretty impressive, right? Now, Russia isn't just doing this out of the kindness of its heart. There are serious political and economic reasons behind its nuclear expansion into Africa. For Russia, which is currently in a heated conflict with Ukraine, building alliances and securing new trade partnerships is a top priority. Africa represents a huge, largely untapped market, and nuclear energy is Russia's ticket to securing strong relationships with African nations. From east to west, north to south, Russia has been making moves across the continent. They've signed nuclear energy agreements with countries like the Republic of Congo, Guinea, Algeria, Burkina Faso, Mali, Zimbabwe, Burundi, Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, Egypt, Nigeria, and Tanzania. That's a long list. And don't forget, Russia is already building Africa's second-ever nuclear power plant in Egypt, which happens to be one of the biggest nuclear construction projects in the entire world. By helping African countries get nuclear energy up and running, 
Russia is not only boosting its own economy, but also securing influence across a rapidly growing region. And, in a world where global power is constantly shifting, that's a pretty strategic move. What's in it for Rwanda? So, what does all this mean for Rwanda? Well, if the deal goes through and Rwanda successfully builds a nuclear power plant, it could seriously change the game for the country. Right now, Rwanda relies mostly on hydropower and imports for its energy. But if they can get nuclear power up and running, they'll have a stable domestic energy source that can power everything from homes and hospitals to industries and businesses. No more worrying about power shortages or relying on imported fuel, nuclear energy could make Rwanda energy independent. And that's not all. A nuclear science center would allow Rwanda to build up its own expertise in the field, training local scientists, engineers, and technicians in nuclear technology. Imagine Rwanda becoming a hub for nuclear research and development in East Africa that would be a massive flex on the world stage. Is nuclear energy the future of Africa? All right, let's zoom out for a second and look at the bigger picture. Africa is on the brink of a nuclear energy revolution, and it's not just Rwanda that's feeling the buzz. Countries across the continent are eyeing nuclear power as the solution to their energy problems. And why not? Nuclear energy is clean, reliable, and can provide the base load power needed to fuel Africa's ambitious growth plans. But like with any big move, there are challenges. Building nuclear power plants isn't cheap, and they take years to complete. Then there's the issue of public perception. Some people are still nervous about the safety of nuclear energy, especially with past disasters like Chernobyl and Fukushima fresh in their minds. But the tech has come a long way since then, and nuclear energy today is one of the safest and most reliable energy sources out there. With countries like Russia leading the charge, it looks like nuclear energy could play a huge role in Africa's future. So, what's next for Rwanda? And how will Russia's growing presence in Africa's nuclear scene affect the rest of the continent? Well, it's clear that Africa is ready to take big steps toward energy independence and development. Nuclear power could be the key that unlocks that future. But it's not just about energy. The growing partnership between Africa and Russia in the nuclear space could also have massive political implications. As Africa continues to rise, who it partners with, whether it's Russia, China, or the West, will shape the future of the continent in ways we can only begin to imagine. What do you think? Is nuclear energy the answer to Africa's energy needs? Do you see Rwanda leading the charge, or will other countries catch up first? Let's get the conversation started. Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more updates on the stories that matter most. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.